Hello, my friends. I am happy to be back with you again and so excited to read you a book today about the rain. I was just out this morning in the rain and it is so beautiful. I hope that you've had a chance to get outside maybe with an umbrella or a raincoat or rain boots because those always help. Um, it smells so fresh and clean and there's just something about being in the rain that I really love. And so when I got back to the library, I thought I need to read a book about the rain. So I did a little search and I found a book that I had never read before, but I really like it. And I think you will too. It's called Priscilla and the Splish Splash Surprise. Let's read it. Okay. So here is our first page. Got to figure out how to do this. We, as we all know, the sky above us is blue. But wait, just a minute. That's not always true. Sometimes I've noticed, I'm sure you have too, the sky turns a purple, green, brownish, gray hue. And that's just how things were looking today on that planet of Priscilla's not so far away. I love that color of the sky when it's purple. That's my favorite. For Priscilla, in fact, there'd been no blue for days. It started last week with a yellowish haze. Each day the sky darkened, it thickened like soup. Finally, the whole sky just seemed to droop. The first raindrop fell, then the second and third. Then the clouds opened up and rain was the word. It came down in buckets. It came down in sheets. Rain flowed like rivers through backyards and streets. The fish thought it grand and the frogs sang with glee and the ducks kooky quacking seemed quite to agree. Well, Priscilla is neither a fish nor a duck. By her way of thinking, this rain was bad luck. But bad luck aside, Priscilla's no poop. She belongs to the do what you gotta do group. Mm, I hope we all belong to that group, especially nowadays. She passed a few hours reading in bed, did somersaults, backbends, and stood on her head. She made up a language to teach to her doll, but Sally couldn't learn, her brain was too small. Instead, they had tea, but the water got cold. The crumpets were crusty, the jam had a mold. Now this one may stretch the bounds of belief, but Priscilla thought chores might bring some relief. So she watered the plants and she fed her pet fishes. She swept out the dust balls and did all the dishes. She fluffed up the pillows and then flopped to the floor. Oh, bonkers, she cried. This rain is a bore. I hope you're helping with chores at your house too. It rained all that day and the day after that. It kept coming hard. This was no pitter pat. By the third day, Priscilla was in quite a stew, spinning in circles cabin fever boku. We might feel like we all have cabin fever right now, right? And it's not just the rain. Eat gad, she groaned, grabbing fistfuls of hair. All this rotten rain is really no fair. One day of rain, one day would be fine. But three days, she fumed, is way out of line. Sometimes a problem can seem overly large, but you know, Priscilla, she likes to take charge. I've got it, she cried. I know just what we need. A rain-stopping dance is the way to proceed. Five minutes flat, perhaps even quicker, Priscilla pulled on her rain boots, her rain boots and slicker. Then in just one, maybe two minutes more, that girl was careening headlong out the door. 
Maybe you've got some fun rain boots and a raincoat to put on today. The rain, it was thrashing like waves on the sea. But did that stop Priscilla? No, not her. No siree. In fact, if you saw how she stomped, splashed, and spun, you might have supposed she was having some fun. Then all of a sudden she stopped, still as stone. It's that funny feeling, I'm not alone. At the edge of the yard, something did stir. A pair of eyes flashed. They were looking at her. Can you see those eyes? Maybe you can find those. Trying hard to ignore her wobbly knees, she whispered, who's there? Answer me, please. A voice called out from the edge of the wood. Just having a look, your dance is quite good. Hmm, thought Priscilla, I shouldn't feel, feel scared. So she crept toward the woods as close as she dared. Who are you, she asked. I wish I could see you. Perhaps we could even be friends, you and me. Friends, the voice giggled. Friends, yes, indeed. I like your rain dance, so we're friends, it's agreed. And then through the leaves, a pink face peeked out. Oh, gasped Priscilla, you're a pixie, no doubt. Yes, I'm a pixie. Posy's my name. The land of primrose is the land whence I came. The pixie then curtsied right there in midair, and Priscilla, astonished, did nothing but stare. You're funny, laughed Posy in a perfect plie. I mean that, of course, in a wonderful way. When storm clouds roll in, most people complain. I'm glad to see someone is enjoying the rain. Well, Priscilla was trying to gather her wits, but Posy, she pleaded, this rain is the pits. I didn't come out here to have fun, not a chance. I came out to do a rain stopping dance. My, my, replied Posy, full of concern. I see you still have a few things to learn. Then Posy, that pixie, swooped back to the wood. Wait, cried Priscilla, cinching her hood. I'm sorry, she called. I don't mean to be rude. Come back, please come back, little pixie, she wooed. It'd be fun to meet a little pixie, wouldn't it? Priscilla scrunched up her face and stared at her shoe. Then it was clear there was only one thing to do. The forest was glowing a radiant green. Every plant glistened with a sparkly sheen. Raindrops were clinging to leaflets like jewels and all was reflected in its shimmering pools. Then once again, the pixie appeared, whirling and twirling. Oh, goody, she cheered. I knew you were special. Just follow me. There are so many things I want you to see. The rain makes everything really beautiful. Look here, Posy called. The funk funnel vine. The smell isn't great, but its funneling is divine and the bob along beetle, the umbrella flower, the muck mover mole has come out for its shower. Just get a gander at the great gargling crane. All of these creatures, they live for the rain. Yes, laughed Priscilla, I can see that is true. They all look so happy, I'm feeling it too. The rain used to seem such a dreary old bore. I understand now it's about so much more. There are worlds within worlds, an endless array. Look closer, you'll see things in a new way. To Priscilla, 
It seemed something new had begun. Then the clouds opened up and out burst the sun. And look at that beautiful rainbow. Maybe we'll see a rainbow today. I bet you've seen rainbows before. I love rainbows too. That was called Priscilla and the Splish Splash Surprise. I hope you liked it and I will look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great day.